Hello y'all and welcome to another battle report. This is from a tournament I recently went to. Uh, it's called TNQ and it's a very cool tournament out here in uh, Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, and we're playing a 2500 comp points. Um, this is um, 11.0 and I'm facing off high or highborn elf first off and to go through his list he have first off to the left a unit of five reavers then he have um, sword masters they got the ones in the game uh, triple their movement banner then he got a unit of queen's guard he also got a archmage in that unit uh, level four path of nature uh, did not remember which um, spell he rolls but some spell uh, Melon Days is the book he got, the, the one that every higher player seems to have. Reroll one dice in Magic Phase. Uh, four up ward, I think, and the Wizard Tower. So six extra range to his spells. <coughs> then he got the unit of Flame Wardens, and then they got the Armor Piercing Banner. He also got a Commander BSP in that unit with the uh, Lion's Fur. And then he got a Eagle and Grey Watchers behind, a unit of Knights of Brim, a unit of uh, Citizen Archer, Command Plan, and a Five Phoenix, and finally a unit of five more Reavers. Well, uh, for my own uh, army list, I got first of all. A uh, unit of 10 Saurian Warriors with Musician and Banner. They got the 2 plus to their movement from the Jaeger Warrior and the Banner of Speed. Then I got my Quattle Lord. I got a 2 aboard against basically everything unless magical attacks, uh, which are not spells, which I only get a 4 aboard against. Uh, 5 spell from Path of Nature. Um, I don't remember what spell I got this particular game, I actually wrote it down, um, the player I faced up actually gave me his list, I wrote down my spells on his list, uh, and I lost the note, of course, but uh, yeah, unfortunately. Then I got the unit of chameleons, and a salamander really hiding in that forest. Then I got my unit of temple guard with uh, Mixotl, makes me reroll ones and twos with um, born Predatory Fighter. I got my Warlord General who had a 1 up save, 4 up ward, Kingslayer, and Portion of Speed. And attached to them is a Captain with the Lucky Shield. Then I got a unit of um, Saurian Warrior with a 3 up armor save. Uh, and spear of course and full command then I got the unit of uh, skink braves I got my captain BSP with a 6 up ward and 4 up armor save in there and my captain with hardened shield so a 3 up save for him they got blowpipe and nothing else then I got my two tanks the tie scooters one with the last cannon and one with the snakes and for my right flank I got the unit of chameleon skinks uh, not scouting any of them and the salamander so we're playing a special deployment the flank attack from the rulebook um, and I'm the attacker and we also have a special scenario objective uh, you see the dwarf thingy in the middle we to play with the most scoring units um, at the end of the game uh, gains uh, three battle points and another thing is uh, in turn five when turn 5 is ended, uh, I should have um, a scoring unit inside of his deployment zone uh, and then I receive 3 battle points, otherwise he will receive 3 battle points. So let's uh, go to the game. He will get the first turn. So for his first turn, as you can see, he pushes up his unit pretty aggressively uh, all over it. Um, so this uh, pretty much only stay back with his uh, Citizen Archers and his Grey Watcher who also have the mage in it now. On this flank he pretty much stay back to leave uh, my Saurus Warrior out of range of his uh, Reavers and move up his um, Queen's Gods to shoot at my Saurian Warriors. 
uh, in this magic nothing really happens I stop the master birth and that's it basically uh, shooting phase he killed off two of my Saurian warrior but nothing more actually so for the Saurian ancients um, we start with what I did basically I throw out a skin captain in front of his uh, knights of Rayman to stop them from doing anything stupid and I move up my chameleon skinks next to shoot at his uh, fire phoenix uh, the other chameleon skinks I couldn't move out of the arc of his unit so I just moved them behind the hill uh, I used the salamander will spit on his um, knights because he's no ignoring armor save hopefully to kill some of them and well this flank um, yeah I pushes up um, I actually uh, move my Kamehameha King out of the arc of his reverse uh, they are in the arc of his um, swordmaster but if he's shot with the swordmaster I will just flee and he will be really out of place and that's pretty really good for me uh, so I'll shoot at his queen's guard uh, my Saurian warriors actually back down and I didn't move much with my other combat blocks so that's it for my movement so well magic didn't do much uh, I think I get off throne but that's it um, as you can see here for high elf, highborn elf uh, turn 2 he charges my lone skin captain I will probably kill that one and uh, his flame phoenix uh, fire phoenix move over my camel kings and he does some uh, d6 strength 4 hits and he killed 3 of them which make me panic and I think we did play it right that I will flee from him so I flee inwards towards the board um, and his river moves around the hill and on this flank uh, he fails two charges one with the uh, flame warden and one with the sword masters so he failed them both and not much else moved at all on this flank but what he did have was a ambushing unit of uh, sea gods so they pop up behind my lines uh, over there for his magic phase he did get off uh, flesh stone skin on his uh, sword masters and shooting phase his citizen archers kill off my chameleon skinks and he kill off my skink captain well for um, dinosaurs turn 2 I did a cross charge so I um, swap places with the temple guard and the saurian warriors because I wanted my 3 up saurian warrior spearmen against his swordmaster and I wanted my more hurtful uh, temple guard into his uh, fire wardens uh, because if I will just use the chosen dice on the light spell so we'll give them divine attacks and he will have to reroll his ward shape that's the plan at least uh, my quad lord moved out of the arc of his um, sea god and yeah uh, my camille kings have fled from a panic check and they rally so they are standing in the middle of the field over there uh, pretty clearly marked with that uh, big plant uh, on one of their bases well on this flank I actually think my spearman first charged his uh, knight of rim and they choose to flee uh, so then I redirected into his sword master um, otherwise yeah I move up my salamander to spit at them again it scattered off last time and my camel skinks to shoot at his uh, fire phoenix and uh, yeah that's it also move up the skinks braves a bit so the bs is within range of all of my units in combat and well you can see what happened here in combat we pretty much stand and grind at each other um, my spearman was steadfast uh, thanks to one guy actually and my temple guard i think won actually so but he sticked because uh, 
you have a BSB and a high leadership and I think only lost by one or two or something like that. So we all stick around in combat. Well, here's a picture of uh, his turn from a weird angle, but basically we're showing his reverse charges with my Kaminsk Kings. I killed two of him on my standing shoot. And otherwise his sea god uh, reforms to face off my Quattle Lord and Saros Warriors. And that's it for movement on this flank. And on this side, his Knights of Rim actually rallied, but they have lost one from the Salamander last turn, I think. His river move across the around the hill, and his fire phoenix uh, moves over my chameleon skinks, actually wiping them out. And here you can see what's happened in combat. I didn't think I had to get too much of um, magic off. Uh, I think I got off the divine attack on my temple guard, which was what I wanted, shooting a last cannon at his. Uh, Grey Wardens, and uh, yeah, you can see his Fire Warden have taken some heavy losses. Uh, his Wardmaster as well. Um, so that's it, but we're still standing near grinding. Um, his Reaver actually managed to kill off my Camelot Kings before I could do anything at all. So for Saurian Ancient, turn 3. What I did basically was I rolled my march test on my Saurian Warrior and run them as fast as I can. And the 12 inch move is pretty nice to have on a small Saurian unit. And my plan is just to walk across with them into his deployment zone to score 3 battle points. My Salamander charges his uh, rivers and he chooses to flee. And I did not redirect because I didn't want his Queen's Guard to shoot the crap out of my Salamander. You can also see in the corner there that my uh, caught lord moves out of the arc of his uh, sea god and we are still in combat grinding it out on the other flank i did manage to send out a skin captain in front of his knights of rima and i move my salamander out of the arc of his rivers or, or out of the arc behind the hill from his rivers and that's it for this flank. Well, in combat, my Saurian warrior breaks my his Wardmaster, and I cannot pursue, unfortunately, since I'm a Crocodile warrior, uh, which is tough, but yeah, um, they are foremost a defensive unit in my point of view. The Temple Guard should be the hard hitting hammer, uh, and they have almost killed off his. Um, Phoenix uh, Fire Wardens, and uh, that's it for my turn number three. So, for the Highborn Elf turn four on this flank, what he did, he charged my captain and he survived. And I fled and he pursued, but he did not catch me, so I landed straight in front of his Reavers. Uh, otherwise, his Flame Phoenix and Archer. Tried to kill off my salamander, but I survived with one wound remaining, which is very good for me. On his other flank, his um, swordmaster rallies, and he throws in his river in front of my uh, spearman Saurus, and I cannot kill his fire warden. He rolls so good with his um, four up ward shape, unfortunately. Uh, so he's still alive there. Well, for the Saren Ancient turn four, um, I charge off his cap, and uh, yeah, my skink captain actually managed to rally. So he's standing in a perfect position in front of his uh, reavers and Knight of Rima, so he will get sandwich uh, next turn probably, but I can live with that. Um, other news, nothing else happened because I'm in close combat with almost everything else. I did rally my Salamander here because he have shoot a, a shot him with his Sea Guard last turn and I choose to flee. So I run away. And then my slant moved to the other side of the Sea Guard. Uh, actually, I have a problem here because his Queen's Guard actually have magical attacks. 
and he's shooting at my slant and that's problematic because my slant taking a lot of damage uh, other news my saurian warrior move up into his deployment to score that three battle points well in this combat i kill off his reavers and i kill off all but one of his fire wardens i did get off the last cannon on his shadow warriors so there are only two of them remaining and uh, yeah he sticks with his fire warriors so say so over to highborn elf turn five well you can see here uh, for his turn five he thrown an eagle now in front of my saurian warrior and his uh, gray warden in front of behind his uh, fire warden if i would kill his guys uh, his um, sword master have actually used his uh, special banner so we could move them three times their movement so they are standing right behind that big dwarf thingy in the middle and uh, you can also see my skin captain got sandwich between uh, and two silver uh, nitharima and the reavers uh, other news i actually got off master of earth on his um, fire phoenix and killed it so you can see in to the right of this picture we have a ring there that is the marker of the phoenix and it can actually rises again with all its wounds but he failed this turn here all a four i think so we will get one plus to his next roll and well you can see here on this flank his uh, sea god um, reforms once again to shoot at my slan and his queen's guard uh, taking as well position to shoot at him and that's it for this flank well in this combat my skin captain is awesome uh, he killed two of his knights of rima and uh, but he killed me of course and then he reforms like that and here he is showing he have taken off two of the wounds of my kuatl lord with his queen's gods and in combat i did manage to kill off his bsb with my Saurian Warlord, uh, but his banner is actually sticking and he stays uh, in that combat. So, well, Dino turn 5. Um, yeah, charges the Eagle with my Saurian Warriors and uh, move my Tri Scooters in front of his Knights of Rim uh, to stop him from charging my Skink Bunker. And yeah, that's it for movement on this side. Here I move my quad lord over there, and what I really need is, um, yeah, I need to get off some nature spell to heal off some wounds on my quad lord, and hopefully my salamander could panic those uh, queens got off the board with some uh, venom spitting. And this flank, my salamander hides behind that hill. In combat, I did manage to kill off his uh, fire warden. Uh, my salamander shot uh, scatter off, and I didn't even get in a single nature spell. So my slan is, and uh, my quad lord is standing there with only two wounds remaining. And in his turn, yeah, shit goes uh, to shit, so to say. His Queen's Guard managed to kill off the Slan, unfortunately. So he scores a massive 400 points for killing him. That's not enough. Um, his Phoenix rises from the ashes, unfortunately. Uh, the reason why he didn't move it over my Salem and take that one out is actually because he, I guess, got so excited of almost killing my Slan, he forgot to roll the die and we discussed it and uh, he decided that uh, even though i offer him to move he decided that it was too much just to get the fire phoenix back so he didn't move it over my salamander uh, which is yeah um, great sport of him to sacrifice uh, 70 point ish his sea god takes up the last wound of this salamander so he is dead as well so for dinosaur turn six um what i do is basically i 
slam my tri-scooters into his swordmaster. Um, he wasn't to worry about that, he was just trying to avoid getting charged by the temple guard and the Saurian warriors, so he just moved around to be within 6 inches of that objective. But my Triscutus was able to charge into his swordmaster. And so that's it, I move up my salamander and my other triscutus to try in magic and shooting down his last Knights of Rima to hopefully get him to lose some scoring unit next to that objective. And yeah, shit goes really good in uh, this combat. I did manage to break off the sword masters. Uh, so they run away. Uh, when I think about it, they would already have lost their banner, so it wouldn't have mattered too much. But I, uh, we didn't notice that uh, then. We thought we both have three scoring unit next to that objective. But since he have lost his banner from the fight with the Saurian warriors, he wouldn't have any banner left. But yeah, anyway, it was nice of uh, my Tyskutus to crush us some uh, swordmaster. Otherwise, I didn't manage to kill off his last nice rim, uh, so that's unfortunate. But uh, even though we kill off my Quattle Lord, which is quite many points, and I think my Temple Guard is down below 25%, so we score like uh, 200 um, ish points for them as well. Uh, I did kill off his uh, fire. Um, Warden, I did kill off his BSP in combat, I did get half for the Knights of Rima, I did get half for the Swordmaster, so I scored a pretty much bunch of points as well, uh, and his um, Grey uh, Archer, uh, I killed them because he sacrificed them to stop my Temple God from doing stuff. Uh, so I got a quite a good amount of points as well as I told you. Uh, so he actually drawing in points, but I had three scoring units next to the dwarfing in the middle, so I scored three battle points for that. And I did get a unit into his deployment zone at the end of my turn five, so I scored three battle points from that. So it ended up being a 13-7 victory for the dinosaurs in the first game of TNQ. So that's a good start, not too big of a victory. So I will not face too hard of a matchup, I hope. And uh, yeah, it's a good start. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments, post them below. And I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Feel free to like this and start subscribing if you haven't already. Have a nice one.